Hey there YouTube, Whiskey Cactus here welcoming you back to our Okami HD Let's Play. This is episode number 9, and last time we made our way through the, uh, what was it, the ruins, and uh, we fought ourselves a boss. And we did pretty well against that boss, I have to say. Um, it was a fun boss fight too, I was very, very happy with it. Um, but we are here now, and we are in Taka Pass. We have made it to Taka Pass. Um, and uh, we have some chaos that we need to clear out. So let's fight some people. I haven't done much. Oh, I hate these guys. These guys are the worst. Oh, I regret this immediately. All right. What, bam? Oops. That was that was wonderful. Haha. <laughs> I am very out of practice with this. Ow, don't hurt me! Need to kill this guy. Alright, well shit. Well shit. Fighting multiple of these at a time is really, really difficult. Especially with this shit camera. Alright. We need you to die so I can... Go ahead, and is this gonna even work? <laughs> I guess it did, jeez. Don't hit me while I'm trying to kill this guy. Come on, man. Ugh, I'm gonna lose all my health. I'm gonna lose all my health. Now that there's only one, it shouldn't be a problem. I missed my ability to pick up that health, though. That's annoying. All right, come on, just fight me. Fight me, bitch. There we go. There we go. All right. All right, now you need to give me health also, because I need, there we go, yeah, there's, there's the health. That wasn't a lot of health, though. Guess I have to fight more people. All right. Um, so, what are we doing today? We actually have uh, a thing that we need to go to, which was over here, I believe. So I'm not going to waste too much time fighting. Let's go ahead and actually go in here. I think this is where we left off last time. And, uh, it's been like a week and a half since I've played, something like that. It's been a while. So I'm a little, a little rusty on where exactly I left off. But we will very quickly find our way. Oh, I need, I need... Health would be nice, without um, really needing to use up my, you know, holy bones. Um, so this is where we fought Waka. So we have not ascended. Did we ascend this? I don't even remember if we ascended this. I don't think we did. I think we stopped after we fought Waka. Alright, so let's go this way. Let's see what's all up here and shit. Alright, what do we got? We got more things to collect. Oh, we got we got health. That's good. I'll take that health. Happy to take that health. Got more burning treasure chests. I don't know what to do with those. I don't think... I would assume that we um, will need some kind of ink magic to deal with that. And that is ink magic I currently do not have. I assume we will be getting that at some point in the hopefully near future. Oh. It's nighttime. I would like to make my way up to that village. I think that's kind of the next thing to do. It seems like that's where we need to go. Alright. What do we got up here? We have a spot I can dig. Oh no, it's a rock. Never mind. Is that... What is that? That is a sanctuary, it says. Sasa Sanctuary. Alright, well, we will continue up this way. We got more enemies. We've got... That's Agatha Forest. So this is where... Yeah, up here... Can I... Oh, shit. I don't, I don't want to jump down there unless I can be absolutely certain I can get back up. Okay. So let's head on over here just to, just to explore. Oops. Just to explore. We got some enemies. Oh, we're, we got some enemies. Oh, you guys... Ugh. You guys are nothing. You guys are nothing. Get out of here. Get out of here. Wabam. 
Get on out. Get on out of here. You're nothing. You guys are nothing. Straight nothing. Nope, 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 nope. Take another hit. <laughs> Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Cool. So that was easy. Alright, so this is just one big area then. Um, so we're continuing on... What is that? City... Checkpoint. Okay. So, we want to go up this... Oh, there it is. There's the sapling. That's what we want. That's what we're really looking for. Ooh. We've got... Uh, a thing we can bloom here. Oh, no, we can't bloom that. Can we not bloom this, or am I just doing it badly? There we go. <laughs> Surprise. I was doing it badly. Imagine that. All right, well, we're getting close to this. Uh, give me that praise. We're getting close to the... Uh, it's one praise? That's all I get for that? Ugh. All right, we'll fight this guy. Oh, it's you guys. You guys. Alright, give me some health. That'd be awesome. Health would be awesome. No health. No health. No health for whiskey. Okay, I can't... I can't... I, that was kind of mean. I can't see behind the, the flower there. Huh. That was a little mean. Alright, well, I can hit you now. That doesn't work. That's right. I gotta go vertical on you. I think I can... Can I go horizontal on you now? No, I can't. When do I go horizontal? I don't think I can, actually. I think I just have to keep covering you in ink. And then as soon as you get uncovered in ink, I cover you in ink again. Before you can launch your fucking drum grenade at me. There we go. There we go! Health, please. There's some health. Yes, I will take that health. Give me health. All right. Good stuff. Give me more praise. More praise for the doggo. Very good. All right. Make our way to the sapling over here. Oh! That was a dirty trick. That's a... I feel like that's got to be almost... It is almost an insta-kill at this point. Oh, I get more health. More health. All right. There we go. Very good. Very good. All right. Now, can we finally get to the sapling? That would be wonderful. Oh, I see. There's no bridge. Can we draw the bridge? Looks like we can. Looks like it's a simple... There we go. Nothing too crazy. Alright, let's uh, revive this friggin' sapling. Progress being made right before your eyes, guys. Sakuya will be thrilled. Now, does that heal this whole area? Is that gonna get rid of all that chaos? It looks like it does. Ooh. Look at all the good we're doing for the world. Look at that. That's amazing. I see a house. All right. Look at all that praise. 30 praise. Ooh. Hopefully I can spend that on something. Taka Pass is back to normal now. Without the cursed zone, it'll be easier to find brush techniques. But first, that big windmill has really piqued my interest. Yeah, I think, um, I want to say Waka mentioned something about the windmill, too. Didn't that half be Yep, there we go. Didn't that half big profit, profit mumble something about it? Ah, whatever. It's not going anywhere, anyhow. Let's take a good look around Taka Pass, okay? 
I'm a bit worried about the people who live around here. All right, so we're not going to the windmill at the moment. We are, we are going to the windmill eventually. But first, we will deal with... Oh, I can feed. Feed the aminals. Um, they like seeds, right? Yeah, they're seeds. Give me that praise. More praise. More praise for Doggo. 146. Can we upgrade anything with that? Nope. Uh, here we go. Um, we're almost able to upgrade our purse. I don't really think we need to do that. So the question then becomes, do we want to upgrade our health, which we can do now? Do we want to hold out a little bit and upgrade our ink pot? Or do we want to try to upgrade our astral pouch? Now, I don't know... I feel like upgrading the astral pouch is dumb, because... If it... Takes more fruit to get it full, then it only works if it's full, so that just makes it harder, right? I don't know. I kind of feel like I want to get ink. I may... I think I'm, I'm not going to get health, because I've been okay with health. Um... I think I'm going to hold out and get another ink upgrade. I think that's what I'm going to try to do. Alright, so now we can go back to the cursed area. And explore. So I'm assuming we're done. Oh. Uh, no, they are they are herbs. Um, I think we're done up here. Seems like we're done up here. Ooh, 16 praise. Look at that. Look at all that praise. More praise for Doggo. I am a good doggo. Oh, what can we do up here? Wait. Can we... How do? How, uh, how do? There. Alright, let's, uh, can we do this? And just kind of... No. I have to be in the picture also. Alright. Is that good enough? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Cool. Alright. Where's this gonna take me? Oh, it takes me up to Kusa Village. Maybe. Maybe it takes me up to Kusa Village. Is there anything else to, to get onto? I don't... Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a whole bunch over here. Wow. Alright. Let's see where we go. Where are we going? Oh, got to wait for my ink to fill up again. Oh, this is just going to take us to where Kusa Village is, I think. Or oh, unless this is a secret. This takes us to, like, a secret spot where we can dig up a whole bunch of shit. That seems like what it is. Yeah, because this is the end of the line. All right. Well, what have we found? Ooh. Praise me. Praise me, for I am your god. Oh, look at all this praise. I bask in your praise. Excuse me. <laughs> there we go. Is that it? Is that all that's up here? Hmm. Seems like a lot of work for just a tiny little bit of praise. I don't know how I feel about that. Alright, can we jump down safely, or is, are we going to die? <laughs> I feel like we're going to die, but we, we can find out. We don't take fall damage. Huh. Well, how about that? We're not taking any fall damage. Alright, we don't have any way to put out that fire. Oops. Break. Alright, I don't think there's anything we really need in these pots. Okay, so let's just hurry on up. And we can explore this cursed area. Okay. Look how fast we run. Oh, hello. No, I don't want to... I don't want to... I want to feed. Are you... Were you... Yeah, you're, you're foxes. Ink. 
In this episode, we get more praise than we know what to do with. Alright. Oh, wh where am I going? We're going this way. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. Excuse me. Excuse me! Excuse me! I want to break the things. Alright. So we continue on. And now all of the cursed zone is gone. So we have this whole field to romp around in, which is awesome. We have a gate here. Let's go ahead and deal with the gate. I'm more interested in doing the gates than I am in just battling regular enemies. Because the gates actually, you know, are worth doing. Oh, more fish dudes. Look at these fish bird dudes. Thinking they're tough shit. They're nothing. You guys are nothing. They both dead? No, that one's not dead. Oh, that one's gonna blow up on me. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Don't you be blowing up on me. No, sir. Oh. Oh, I see. At least I don't have to fight you alongside other enemies. I'm okay with that. I can fight you one-on-one. -on -one. You're not a pain in the ass when it's one-on-one. -on -one. Come on. Shoot your shit at me. It's the only way I can beat you. Oh, there it is. There we go. Alright, die, bitch. Die, bitch. Alright. Doing even more good, and all the praise. Alright. We are such a good doggo. Alright, is this, this is the way we came from. Alright, so we're gonna go this way. They reshape the terrain on me, and then I get lost. <laughs> Alright, so we're going this way. And, uh, we have this guy here. Hello. Moly. Hey, 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 stop right there. How dare you walk around our turf without permission? I won't let you get away with it. I'm Molly of the Molsters. That's Molly of the Molsters. Molster leader. All of the territory beneath Taka Pass is under our control. Excuse me. We can't just allow people to come wandering in as they please. How are we supposed to relax with intruders like you around? I'll have to get you to leave some of that behind to make up for it. You know what I mean? That gold colored thing used in shops? You mean yen? Huh? Oh, I get it. You're just a pack of thieves extorting money. Well, pigs will fly before you shake us down. We should teach you a lesson. <laughs> you got some nerve. Fine, if that's the way you want it, you'll regret this. Come on, man. Molsters, special dust cloud formation. Oh, God. Oh, no. What am I doing? What do I have to do? Okay. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. What? I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. <laughs> do I just, like, hit you? No. I don't do that. Do I... Bloom your hole? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm supposed to do in this situation. Do I drop a cherry bomb on you? That seems a little harsh, but I could try. Seems like. <laughs> okay. We drop cherry bombs, that's what we doing. Okay, we just dropping them on all of them? No. Oh, I see. We have to, I guess we have to get the blue one. I don't know.
Is this right? No, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Alright, I... Okay, I think we have to get the blue one. But I just don't know how we're supposed to... Is he just, like, following a pattern? So he goes here. This fight is never yet. Yeah, I... Well, but... what? Uh... Alright, I'm gonna go for this one. No, that's not where I wanted to put it. I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I don't know. Do I just, like, attack you? Is that it? Is that all I do? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Oh. What? Had enough of hard-headed Ami? That'll teach you. Don't mess with the gods, Furface. Crime doesn't pay. Remember that. I expect you guys to stay on the straight and narrow now. I do know the difference between right and wrong. It's just that, well, I was lonely. No matter how long I wait down here, no one comes to see me. You got all your friends, bro. That's why I believed... That's why I behaved the way I did. Just wanted to get your attention, that's all. Please, white doggy, will you be my friend? I promise I'll behave myself from now on, honest. Here's what I need, doggy. If you stay, then I won't have to be lonely anymore. Ah... This is just getting stranger by the minute. Oh, I knew I shouldn't show my feelings like this. I'll go back underground now and shed my tears in private. Suppose it's goodbye then. Come back and visit soon, won't you, doggy? Well, that was really, really weird. What did I get? Oops. What the fuck button is X? Jesus. <laughs> Alright, I don't know what to do with this. What's down here? I don't know, but we're going Geronimo. We're going to Geronimo. Oh, this seems bad. What's happening? Everything's turning red and shit. Uh, this is spoopy. We can't use the camera. Oh, we have a person. Ah, the color's faded on this patch of floor. It's all rotted, like it's been exposed to the elements. I wonder if there was a hole in the roof or something. Mm hmm. What about you? What's your deal? Mrs. Cutter. Ugh. Food, nice juicy flesh. Ugh. Oh. Okay. So, hole in the roof, you say? I get the sense that I know what you want. So, I don't know what to do with this thing, so I'm just gonna leave it there. For now. Um, I need to get back up. There was, I saw that, yeah, there was one of these things. Can we zoom out? I need to zoom, no, I want to zoom, there we go. Zoom out. No, I need to, mmm, this camera, this game's camera is total trash. All right. Fuck. Fuck! There we go. Okay. So. Oh. Hmm. What I need is to use... That. There we go. There we go. Okay. So now we can open this treasure chest. And get glass beads. That's awesome. But there's a hole in the ceiling. We need to find. Excuse me. Shit! Oh, that's annoying. Oh, that's annoying. 
All right, I know there's a. I know where the hole is. At least I thought I did. It's up here. I need to get up here. Is there a? Can I just like what? Oops. What? Okay. Can we dig up the tombstone? No, we can't. Oh, we can just. Oh. <laughs> we can just jump. All right. So doing that got the treasure chest, but it wasn't needed for this. All right, so we can just bomb this, right? That's that's the deal. We just bomb this hole somewhere, wherever this hole is, right here. We bomb the hole. Woof. Hello. Let the light in. What a wreck! The sun's shining through a hole in the roof. That's one big hole. Bet you could even see the moon through it at night, but this is no place to be talking about gazing at the moon. Alright, well, I don't know how to make it nighttime. I do not know how to make it nighttime. So I guess we'll just wait until it's nighttime. And in the meantime, we'll do a little bit more exploratizing. <laughs> I bet. I bet it will. Alright, can we do anything here? Nah, doesn't look like it. Alright. So we just gotta wait for it to be nighttime. Oh, hi! Ha! I was just looking for something tasty to put in my pot. You'll do nicely, little mutt. I don't think so. I don't think so. The horrible Mrs. Cutter. You should keep going. Keep us going until my husband catches us a big beast. You must have a death wish, you miserable mutt. Hi! Is there anything to do here, or are we just... Alright, I don't think there's anything to do here. <laughs> I think she's just gonna keep chasing me. Alright, well... We have a little bit of time to kill before it becomes night, so we'll do a little bit more exploratizing. Are there any more enemies to fight? And by that I mean gates. Because I know there's always enemies to fight. I don't really want to just fight regular enemies, I'd like to do the gates. Those are usually worth doing. What do we got over here? We got somebody. What? What? That was so weird. That was so weird. I feel like I'm trying to do much, do too much at the same time. Nah. Come on, man. Give me that bloom! What the fuck? <laughs> okay. We're at 200 now. We can go ahead and increase our ink. I am kind of just interested in, in seeing what will happen if we do the pouch, though. So this will take us to the city checkpoint. Seems like. There's another gate. Let's go ahead and do this gate. Let's do this gate. More fish. Ah, oh, that didn't work. <laughs> Thought that might work. It didn't work. Alright. Get on out of here. Look at that. Look at all that. Look how good we did. You. Ah, shit. Alright, you done, bro. You done, bro.
Just stay covered in ink. It'll be fine. We will take care of you. Just stay all covered in ink. You will never be able to attack me. Get out of here. Get on out of here. Look at all that. Look at all that. Fixing the world one gate at a time. Hello, dears. Twelve praise for that. Nice. All right, cool. We can fix this tree. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. Cool. All right. Well, what else is going on? There's not much else to do. I don't know how to make it night. I should probably look that up, if it's possible to just make it night. Because I know we can make it day just by drawing a sun in the sky. That's fine, but that doesn't really help when I need it to be nighttime. Okay. I'm gonna use up all my ink trying to do this fucking tree. There we go. <laughs> what else we got up here? Is this something we haven't seen yet? This looks like something we haven't seen yet. There's the village. We got a dude over here, it looks like. Oops. Hello. What's up? Spring girl. I don't understand. The mermaid spring's always given us such lovely fresh water. How can it dry up all of a sudden? Alright, well maybe if we do this gate, it'll restore the water. Maybe. Maybe it twill. Maybe twill. Alright. Attack me, bro. Shoot shit. There we go. No, that's not what I wanted you to do, you bitch. Attack me. That's it. Where's the, where, 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 there, oh, there, there, there it is. Boom, okay. And this. And now we just kill you. Now we just kill you, just keep on killing you. Keep on killing, and you dead. Yes. Ugh, you guys. You guys never seem to learn your lesson. You can't do a thing to me, man. I'm too strong and you are too covered in ink. Look at that. Look at that. You're done. And there's the water. Look at that, it's beautiful! Absolutely beautiful. What do you have to say now? It's so wonderful that the mermaid spring has come back to life. Maybe it's thanks to the legendary powers of the mermaids. Excuse me! I get no credit for anything I do in this game. Have you heard the story? This spring's like a path for them. Sometimes they come up from the bottom of the ocean. There are other springs just like this all across Nippon. The mermaids come up to the ground to visit their favorite places. See, part of the water's surface is shining faintly. If you throw a mermaid coin in there, a pa the path will open up. Oh. Oh, shit, shit. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> um. Interesting. I don't think I have a mermaid coin, though. Do I have a mermaid coin? I, I don't think there's any way for me to know if I have that. I certainly don't have it in my tools or my equipment. I'm gonna go ahead and assume I don't have a mermaid coin. Oh! More things to feed. I have gotten so much goddamn praise in this episode. Never before have I received so much praise in my goddamn life. Alright. Um, let's do ourselves a favor and climb on up here and see what this will do. 
I don't know what we get from going up this pl this way. What are we? What? What is there? Anything interesting? Um. Aha. Indeed, we have this thing. And what does this do for us? I I don't know. Oh. Huh. What do we have to like? Yeah, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure what that's gonna do for us. All right, so we still need it to be nighttime so that we can go and see what's up with that house with the moonlight. Not quite sure how that's gonna go. So maybe we'll just maybe I'll just have to wait it out, and I'll just meet you when it gets nighttime. I think that's what I'll do. All right. I will see you in a good minute. Okay. So I looked it up. It's a brush stroke. Brush technique that we get later to make it nighttime. So for now, we just have to wait it out. But let's see what happens when we go in here. See what happens when we go in here. So we have the moonlight now. What does this get us? Moon shining through a hole in the roof. The light of the full moon sure looks eerie in here. Monsters can't control themselves when exposed to such light. We should drag any suspicious characters we see into this light. What the f- okay. So you. <laughs> right? How do we... Do we... Do we... No? How do we bring you into the light? I, I can't bite you. The fuck? Um... I don't know, man. I don't know what to do. Oh, what's this? Oh, nothing. We need to... I don't know, man. We can't feed her. Can we feed her? That'd be weird. No. It To me, it feels like we need to bring her over here into the light. But we can't. It doesn't seem that there's any way to move her. Yeah, no. There's nothing. Can we, like... I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Alright, I don't know what to do here. I'm gonna go ahead and just bail. <laughs> I, I, I can't figure it out. Hopefully it's not that important. Or hopefully, it, maybe it's something I can't do yet. I don't know. But it certainly does not seem like I can do anything with it. Alright, so we have a few other options. Oh, jeez. We have a few other options for things to do. Excuse me, I would like to slash the bird. Come on, bird, you dying. Look at that. All right, and you. Okay, how was that? Fantastic, if I do say so myself. Fantastic. So we, it seems like we have some options. We can go into the village, Kusa Village, or we can see what's going on over here. 
It seems like they want us to wait to go to Kusa Village. It seemed like they wanted us to explore, or Isen wanted us to explore at least. So, oh shit. <laughs> okay. You just, you have no health. Oh, one of you. Okay. Okay, you guys. This guy. Take you out. You're real easy. Excuse me. There we go. And there we go. Take that. Fantastic. All right, so what's what's down this way? What can we do over here? This is to Sasa Gate. Beautiful sanctuary awaits good-hearted people who pass through the gate. All right. Let's see what's over here. So this is the thing that, like, wait. It's so weird. It's something different, and then it's that guy. But then I get closer, and it all just disappears. It's so weird. All right, what's over here? Let's let's explore. We got time. What's Sasa Gate? Sasa Sanctuary. Ooh, look at these graphics. They're so nice. Bamboo Village Sasa Sanctuary. Eh, don't you just love the smell of bamboo? Looks like there's a road here. Let's see where it takes us. All right, cool. Let's explore. Oh, this looks like a bathhouse. This reminds me of, uh, Spirited Away. What is all this? Hey, hey, hey! Jerp. Hey, you scruffy! What are you doing in Sasa Sanctuary? Skipping in here with that innocent look on your face. You have a lot of nerve for a wolf. You know, this is the turf of the Sparrow Clan, right? We can't just let you turn around and leave, oh no. We'll tan your hide and send you packing. Boss, let this cocky mutt have it. Oh shit. Oh shit, what did I get myself into? Oh god. Oh my god, what is this thing? Hey, Scruffy, do you even know who this is? This is the mighty leader of the Sparrow Clan. That's right, the Great Jamba. The Great Jamba, alright. <laughs> Big Daddy Jamba, okay. <laughs> okay, boss, take it away, it's all yours. A chirp. Uh-oh. Boss is seriously angry. What the heck is going on here? Listen up, Scruffy. Boss's precious daughter has been kidnapped, and he's mad. We're doing everything we can to find her. We've searched all over. No one's getting through that gate until she's safe and sound. So go on, off with you. All right. Well, I guess we have to find Big Daddy Jamba's uh, daughter. Ah, they're not going to let us in. What was that about the boss's daughter being kidnapped? All right. Well, seems like we can't go any farther here, but we can definitely dig this up. Hello. What we got? Stray bead. More shit to collect. Alright. Well, that's fine. Alright, so I guess we can't do anything here. We got a save point, though. That's not bad. We're not ready to end the episode yet, so we will go ahead and head on out. So, good to know that this is here. This seems like a dead end. This seems like something we can't do yet. We need to find the uh, boss's daughter. Okay, then. I will be on the lookout. For anything resembling a little bird. The last thing to do, I think, before we go to Kusa Village is to check up this way. Oh, shit. I walked right into that. That's all right. Are you the boss's daughter? You're a fish bird, but you are a bird. just take you down. Oh, excuse me. There we go. You're done. Oh, there's another fish bird. Another fish bird. All right, fish bird. Get out of here. That does so much damage. It's amazing how much damage that does.
Gonna have to use up a whole bunch of money again. Alright, there's something up here. What do we got up here? We got some glowing stuff. What is this? Can we dig? No, nope. can't dig. Can bloom this tree though. All right, what's? Ooh, we got some sleeping animals. Those foxes? Yeah. Sorry to wake you up, but here's some food. I feel like that's the only acceptable reason to wake something up. Is to give it food. Tell me I'm wrong. Excuse me. Can we? There we go. Hello. Daytime. Hello, what's up? Bingo. There, there, there. There it is. My pendulum's calling out to me. The treasure must be buried here. What are you staring at, pooch? Want to help me dig up the treasure? My pendulum showed me where it was, but I've completely lost track of where that was now. There must be some kind of clue hidden around here somewhere. I don't know what to tell you, man. I mean, I can very clearly see that it's under the stack of leaves. But I don't think I can do anything about the stack of leaves. I don't know how to do anything about that stack of leaves. I have tried to do stuff with stacks of leaves before. And I've had no success with it. What's this? What do we got over here? Do a little more exploratizing and then we'll end off the episode. City checkpoint. There is a raised bridge that I assume we will not be able to cross. This is how the game will impede our progress in this direction. For sure. But we have a save point, and that will be very useful in a minute or two. Hello, what up, guys? Mrs. Pine. Oh, what a cute little doggy. Are you stuck here, too? That big bridge over there, people call it the Big Draw Bridge. It's what links Taka Pass with the city. As you can see, they keep the bridge raised these days, though. I wonder what's going on over in the city. Hey there, Pooch, you hoping to head over to the city too? I'm afraid no one's going anywhere with that big br drawbridge like that. Even the checkpoint guards don't know why it's been raised. I bet there's something a bit fishy going on. Hmm. Oh, you have more to say. I understand what I'm saying, eh? Want me to let you in on a rumor I heard? Apparently, there's some mistress illness in Seon City. I wouldn't normally believe that kind of rumor, of course, but thinking about when I first heard about it, well, it's right around the time the bridge was raised. If the rumor's true, then I guess there's no hurry to leave here. Hmm. Interesting. So they don't want to raise, the, or they don't want people into the bridge because uh, there's some sickness going on. Is it feed? Was that feed? Oh, no feed. They left. The birdies left. All right, there's a merchant. What up? Who? What? Oh, uh, this is the checkpoint for Seon City. This brig drawbridge is the only way in or out, but no one is allowed into the city right now. It's an absolute order from Queen Himiko. Say, you know the phoenix statues that protect this checkpoint? Well, they burned with the sacred flames that drove away evil, but they suddenly went out one day. Now I'm afraid monsters are going to sneak up on me when it gets dark. Sacred flames should never go out. May that, maybe that rumor is true. All right. Oh, you have more to say. Have you heard that rumor about the, the huge curse zone? Everyone's up in arms. have been so close to the big day. Comic-y festival held each year. The hundredth festival since that monster was defeated, so everyone's saying it's the hundred year curse. You have more to say. No one's allowed in the city. Phoenix Statue saying that rumor began. You heard the rumor, haven't you? A million times. I see. <laughs> okay. Cool. What about you? Hello there, what's the matter? Poochie, why does that look near you? Anyway, looking like that's bad luck. I'm Yoichi, greatest archer. Among all the city guards. Oh, you are an actual important character. The greatest archer, Yoichi. Holy smokes, that's some bow you got there, mister. What's this? You brought a friend along with you, Poochie? This is my trusty bow, Goldenfire. The most powerful in all the land. Guarding is rather dull work, so I passed the time practicing archery. I'll show you what it can do. Watch this. Oh, are you going to teach me things? Oh, I see. Wow, bullseye. Pretty good, eh? There's not a target golden fire, golden fire and I can't hit. Now, my friends, why not have a bit to eat and relax a bit? Cool. Thank you. More to say? I see those uh, buds over there. What is it, Poochie? Do you want to pass through the city? Well, we have a problem then. I was guarding the city checkpoint when suddenly the order was given not to let anyone enter. Look, 
See how they raise the big drawbridge on the far bank. Normally I'd fire a flaming arrow as a signal to lower it, but there's nobody at the guard post over there. Wonder if my comrades in the city would notice if I fired an arrow. No matter. I don't have anything to light the arrow with anyway. Sacred flames. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm putting two and two together, Yoichi. <laughs> At least I can get some well-earned rest. Okay. So somewhere along the way, I am going to learn how to light fire. And that's going to happen very soon, I think. Alright, so I think this is a good spot to go ahead and end off the episode. We do have a save point here. So I'm going to go ahead and call it quits for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And make sure you are subscribed for more Okami HD. Next time, we're going to head to Kusa Village because I think that is the next logical place to go. I think we've explored everything that we can explore everything else we can explore um so i think that's the one thing left to do we'll go in there hopefully there will be something in there that will tell us what to do next we have to visit that windmill so that'll probably be the next thing to do uh so i hope you're excited for that i know i am i will see you in the next episode goodbye <laughs>